Uh, hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, add textures to meshes without having to UV unwrap it all the time. And uh, with this technique or this method, you, you would want to use it on uh, if you want to like add a quick texture to a mesh. If it's a single mesh like a cube or maybe a figure or clothing want to add some texture to it without having UV unwrap it and that's all you want to do you don't want to add anything like emblems to it or add any kind of you know maybe dirt particles just want to add a straight texture this is how to do it um, as you can see this we've got a, the default cube here from uh, the startup menu <clears throat> and I've already split this window in half and the way you can do that is just you just pull this down you hover your mouse over this little these three or four line diagonal lines and just pull it down it'll uh, divide your screen into different parts uh, so what I'm going to do I'm, I'm in cycles render I'm going to change this window to the node editor okay press and to get rid of that uh, panel over there and then over here in your materials tab I've had I want to change this window to the materials window so you can see the the uh, the adjustments that we're going to make to this cube. Once again, this this cube is not UV unwrapped. It's just a straight cube. When we press tabs, you can see there are no UV lines on it at all. <clears throat> it's just a straight cube. So we're going to add a material to the texture. Then click Use Nodes. I'm going to zoom in here. Let's pull this down a little bit. Zoom in, and uh, you're going to want to add, uh, uh, enable the Add-on Wrangler, uh, which is a helpful and the note editor and the way you can uh, actually uh, activate the uh, uh, node wrangler is just click on file user preference and then you type in if it's not already activated you type in node wrangler mine's already been turned on you'll see it right there and you uh, click the box to activate it and in this window you press control T and it automatically sets up it it sets up two UV or two uh, nodes here for some reason, which I think is probably just a bug. But just click, just uh, delete this extra node set here. Uh, X delete, and then we're going to highlight all these and pull all this to the side. Or actually, just hold down your uh, right mouse button or left mouse button. Highlight all these and move all this to the side. Or press G, I mean, sorry about that. Press G. Move to the side. And let's connect these nodes together. Disconnect that. And in this window, this node here, you will change from UV to generate it. And then from point to texture. And as you can see, it's black here because it's waiting to see what texture coordinates we're going to add to it. Here, click on open. I'm going to go to where I've kept a lot of textures, which is in a folder on my hard drive. And let's see, Blender Textures. Click on that. Let's scroll down to a texture here. Let's just use this brick texture. And then click open image. As you can see, it's really stretched out. It's fine at the top, but on the sides, it's just really stretched out. And to fix that, you go to this section of this node, and from flat, change it to box. And the whole thing is textured properly all around the cube. You see a nice brick texture on it. And you might think, well, this is just a cube. What about if I've already made, like, a figure, clothing, so on and so forth? And I want to show you how to do this. It's the same technique with that, too. I'll just show you how to do it in that uh, aspect too with this character I made a while back. And we're going to texture his robe. The same technique, you pull this down, go to the node editor, <clears throat> excuse me, click and to clear out that area. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's uh, add a new material here. Zoom in, uh, control T when you're no Wrangler is enabled. Press Control T. Turns black because it's waiting for the textures to be applied to it. So let's get rid of these extra nodes here. X again. Get rid of that. And then click on these nodes. Press G to grab all of them at the same time. 
Let's zoom in here and connect this to that diffuse color and disconnect it from the volume. And now we're going to uh, change the coordinates from UV to generate it. Turn it, change it to texture from point. Click on open. And let's go to, I'm going to go to where I've, you know, once again, save my own texture, the digital blender textures. I turn on hard drive, click on the uh, different display menu at the top. Let's pick a different texture here, something uh, cloth like. Okay, here's one. This green one looks nice. Click open image, and you see the textures are pretty much out of sync, out of whack. And then you go to this section of this image texture node. Turn it from image to box, and it uh, distributes the pattern better, a lot better than it was initially. You can uh, you can play with these settings here to see which one works best: tube or sphere, which is also just pick the one you feel works best for your image, and then there you go. And that's how to actually apply a texture to a mesh. Without having to UV unwrap it, it works for planes, uh, simple geometric shapes like circles, cubes, or if you have uh, a character image like I have here, it works for that also. So yeah, that's uh, my Blender quick tip for today. I uh, hope it's useful and hope you guys enjoy it and uh, see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.